Hello and welcome to my six string journey and today we're going to be building this. Now why am I doing a video on this? I'll explain in just a minute. you're watching Cypher in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a build on my new Fender guitar stool or what some people refer to as a bar stool. Why am I doing a video? Well when I was researching this stool I couldn't decide which one I was going to go for but when I was researching them on Google a lot of people recommended this one but they were saying that it was difficult to build other people were saying that it was easy and when I thought about it, there's not a lot of components, so how hard can it be? So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is unboxing it, having a look at what's in the box, and then we'll do a real-time build, because a lot of the builds that I saw were speeded up, played around with, and I just want to go for a raw video. So that's what we're going to be doing in this one. Um, so that is the box. I'm going to be working primarily with the tools that come in the box, but I've got a trusty pair of scissors. Be careful if you're using scissors because they're sharp. And if you're a kid, check with your parents. And I do have my trusty flip it with my screwdrivers. A few other bits and pieces. Might or might not need that. Now, welcome to this channel. And thank you very much for everybody that subscribed. I'm up to just around a thousand subscribers now, which is fantastic news. I'm really pleased about that. And I'm also, slightly uh, embarrassed because a couple of my friends, very, very good friends that I've known since school, uh, they've been watching my channel and not necessarily for the guitar side of things, more for the t-shirts I'm wearing. So today, for Scott and Karen, this video comes to you by Made in England. So I do like this shirt, uh, Eddie on a bike. And yeah, I've got a few more t-shirts to come out and I'll probably need to buy a few more. But anyway, we're not here for t-shirts, so let's crack this box open. And we'll have a look and we'll see what we've got. Okay, it's pretty well packaged. polystyrene and some fixings move some of these bits and pieces around I'm just going to put rubbish over to one side just keep that out of the way more packaging Got an empty box. Just pop that over to one side. Instructions. Pretty basic. One sheet. How hard can this be? We've then got the seat which has the ring on it. So we'll just pop that off. Put rubbish in the box. Crack the seat open. Yep, that's leather. It's a nice seat, uh, nice and thick. Fender across the middle. And uh, it's polyurethane foam pad, uh, made in China. So, with everything that's going on at the moment, quite lucky to have got one of these, I guess. Lots of people are unfortunately running out of stocks at the moment and my heart goes out to everybody that's affected by the coronavirus at the moment. Okay, I've just pulled off the, uh, the little rubber bit for the foot there, so let's just slide that out. 
lots of rustly packaging. Okay, we'll just slide that over the top. And we've got a little box of bits and pieces in here. Let's just crack this open. Okay, so as far as what's in the box, not a lot really, uh, as I expected. I didn't expect there to be loads and loads and loads of stuff. We got a, a little wrench, and like I said, I'm going to be using primarily the tools that come in the box. There's an Allen key, uh, some assorted nuts and bolts and washers. Now, whenever I do a job like this, I always tend to put these in little groups. Some washers. Let's just move that over there. And some screws. Right, just had to move the nuts and bolts and screws around because they weren't in shot of the camera, so just had to check. So we've got the wrench, Allen key, some uh, Allen key bolts, large ones, small ones, some nuts and a few what look to be just plastic washers. So we've got all of those grouped. We've got our seat top, which I'm just going to put to one side for the moment. We've got then, we've got the spinner plate, which goes on top of the stand and underneath the seat so that it spins. We've got the ring, which I'm hoping is gonna work as a footrest. And then we've got the two main seat parts. Okay, so I'll just make myself some room. I'll put those out of shot with the camera for the moment. So we're gonna start off with the two seat parts and as you can see on the lower one we've got a it drops down on the top one it raises up so that we can put those over the top of each other and then according to the instructions the next thing that we need to do is to bring the ring over the top and then we need to grab the longer of the screws Just feed that through. Great. Grab the wrench just to hold the nut in place. And we'll use the Allen key just to tighten that up. That's one. Okay, so just need to turn this around for a second because putting the first one in and that's only just nipped up I'm gonna need to let's just loosen that one off okay so you got problem number one is that uh, if you look these two are just a little bit further away and obviously trying to push the bolt through. That's going to take a little bit of force. I think what I might do just for the moment is to take the ring off completely. I 
estate plans of mice and men. Ah, right, I'm going to pop those back there so I don't lose them. So, when we offered up the ring, as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap. So what I'm going to do, just for the second, is just bend those out slightly. Just ease them out a little bit. The instructions don't say to do that, but hey ho. Put the ring back over the top. Okay, that looks a lot better. You can see now that uh, the ring is sitting much closer to the upright. So we'll offer the nut and bolt up again. And we'll do the other side. Ah, bingo. Much easier. <laughs> I'm just going to do those finger tight for the moment. Two more nuts and bolts. Okay. Right, we've actually got some different size bolts there, so you need to make sure that you get the right ones. That was the reason why it wouldn't reach. Let me get a longer one again. There. So basically of the three bolts that we've got, you need the longer ones to go on the bottom. Okay, I'm happy about that. So let's grab the wrench. We're here in the UK like I am, spanner. And the Allen key. Just nip those up, one, two. So stretching out the legs was definitely fairly key to starting that. And all I did is I just pulled them apart just a fraction and then offered up the ring so that the ring sat on the legs nicely and obviously if you haven't done it enough just do a little bit more but that worked for me like I said that's not in the instructions I don't know whether that's advisable I don't know if that's what you need to do but that certainly worked a treat for me okay just nip those bolts up So that's our basic seat. And then step two is to offer up this plate. Now the first thing to note is it comes aligned. And so that we can get the bolts through, we need to just turn it slightly so that we've got this star shape. I don't think it matters which way round it goes. So I'm gonna do just do it that way around. Right, the instructions aren't overly clear on where these little fibre washers go. So I'm going to take a guess. And I'm going to put them between the plate and the tubes for the seat. So let's just take these bolts out for a moment. Oh, 
One, two, three, four. Now, like I said, it's not overly obvious. I might be making a mistake. You'll find out in a moment. And then a little bit fiddly. I'm going to need to get all this lined up. Already knocked one off. One, two. Okay, it's definitely going to be easier to loose fit this, so don't put all of the put bolts in one at a time and tighten them up. Just feed all four of those bolts through. There's a little bit of give on the plate, and then we'll tighten them up finger tight. Just putting these uh, nuts on. I always tend to do the nuts finger tight first of all, just so that you avoid the risk of cross threading. I know some people that will pop them into a socket set and you could build this with a socket set very easily. It doesn't actually say on the instructions the um, size of the nuts. But I would imagine any decent socket set there would be one the right size. But like I said, I'm trying to do this with the tools that come in the package. And other than the scissors to open the box, I haven't actually touched the screwdriver set at the moment. Now I'm going to do these on opposites, just because that's how I've been brought up. And annoyingly, I actually have an Allen key the right size downstairs with a screwdriver style handle, which would actually probably have made this a lot easier. And certainly I think using a socket set would have been easier because at this point where the nut is recessing into the seat, I am having to hold it at a slight angle which is a little bit uh, tricky. And these uh, Allen keys are not of great quality. As you can see, I'm having to use a small end now, which is more difficult because it's actually already rounded that off. So very cheap Allen key. Again, I've got decent Allen keys, which I could be using for this. But again, I'm trying to use the tools that come with it just to show how easy or fiddly this is. Okay, so that's done. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I think I'm probably going to swap these out after the video just to tighten things up a little bit more. Um, but it is pretty secure. It's not too wobbly, so it's reasonably okay. All right. Next, the seat. So we take the seat, invert it. We take our stand parts, offer that up, upside down. And then we just, again, finger tight. We'll drop these bolts in. Quite fiddly to get your fingers in there, especially if you've got little chunky fingers like me. So what I've done is I've just used oops, the long end 
to give us the reach into the bolt, offer that up into the hole, get that aligned. And then I'm just getting it started. I'm not actually tightening those up so that you've got some ability to move the legs around or the, the leg section around just to align up the holes. So again, lots and lots of play just so that we can align that up for the last one. go now again a better allen key would be good here because the clearance that you've got to use the long end of the allen key it's doable but it's not great you can get about 80 degree swing on the allen key but it does mean that if you're going to use the allen key to do them up you're going to have to take the allen key out multiple times turn it around so what i'm doing is i'm just going to screw them down until they start to bite using the long end and then i'll switch that to the short end so that i can get more purchase to get that done up tighter and as you can see end up taking it out multiple times so if you have got a screwdriver type of allen key definitely going to make life easier the other thing i think will benefit in here is some washers some metal washers it does grip okay the heads are good enough so no real need for it it's just something that I would have preferred. But all in all, that's gone together pretty easily. Okay, there we have it. Our new seat. You can turn around quite nicely. So I need to make sure that I don't swing around too much and hit my wall. Especially with my new picture on the back. But uh, there we go. Ready. To practice no reason now why we can't practice in our new work and practice room so thank you very much for watching it's a really nice stool we'll see how we get on with it over the next few practice sessions and thank you very much for watching this video if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel to support it on this channel i review the gear that i'm using such as the stool and also my music lesson reviews and you can follow me along with the music sheets that I produce for the lessons that I'm doing. So thank you very much for watching. Please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.